back, pop stars, and thank you for being here today. No, it's thank you for being here today. It's literally exactly it's what I did. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I am Josiah James Rizzo. And I am Benjamin Gregory Jones. And we are the Pink Pop cast. <laughs> Princess of um, Genovia. Genovia. God, I love this movie. It's one of those ones that you quote all the time and you don't even realize it. It, it hit. Shut up! Uh, this was directed by Gary Marshall, the late, great Gary Marshall. Starring Anne Hathaway in her first role? It was definitely the first thing I ever saw her Exactly, in, in her first role. <laughs> <laughs> it was nothing before. And Julie Andrews and Amanda Moore. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Follow and us on Patreon because we will have the live reaction. The full reaction. God damn it. <laughs> Let's watch 2001's The Princess Diaries. I actually never for the life of me remember how this film opens up. It goes, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Sometimes I have picked myself like in. Told you. Is sometimes I have So what does it say though? Picked myself like in. This isn't a musical, Benji. No. no. High in the oh. sky. What? Never being scared. But then I realize I'm a super girl. <laughs> Who's gonna, gonna save me? me? <laughs> I remember every time I watched the VHS, you have to wait. There was the music after. video at the end. There's there were this two. one and there's Miracles Happen. Is it sad that now we've come so full circle that I find the bushy hair, bushy eyebrows, glasses look like super hot? You were like, oh, what did you do to her? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly though, I remember kind of being like, Oh, because oh, they God. were like trying to make her look ugly, but like the only thing that's really ugly is her lack of self-confidence. <laughs> you know? You hear that, ladies? Everyone, not just ladies. Sorry, Mr. Robitussin. Is it Robitussin like, it's like a painkiller, right? Or something? Hey Siri, what's Robitussin? Cold medicine. <laughs> He's a <like>, cold medicine? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a soup girl. But I won't that know. That would be miserable. Yeah, I wouldn't. You can't live there without a car, right? Wait, this was produced by Whitney Houston? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> no, that's impossible. That's with the girl line saying hi to oh you. God, I hate I'm that. Anna, Anna Montana. I, oh God, from the bottom of my heart, I hate them. I had such a crush on this motherfucker. This guy? Oh yeah. Oh, Josh. Morning, Lily. Lily's friend. I'm sure there's uglier people that go to that school. Oh my gosh. Hold on, here it comes. Here's the line. It's like my favorite line in this movie. Somebody sat on me again. Really? Yeah. Somebody sat on me again. I'm quoting this whole movie. <laughs> That was a good integration of her daydream. Yeah. <laughs> Caught me off guard a little. Oh <laughs> my god. What? He was cute. Before I even realized you were you were I was into it. You were I playing was like, for yeah. the field that where the men are all on. Yeah. The field of all men. The, the guy field. The guy the guy field. Guy team. But they don't actually play sports. They just Look at that. They, they're there. <laughs> they're there and they're they're doing guy they're, things. They're but the guy things are gay. I think Grove should dump the uniforms and we have casual dress all year round! Oh god, he's such a snarm. He was also in Leave It to Beaver and I, I had a crush on him. Oh, there too. I haven't watched that movie in forever! <laughs> love that sound. I love that sound. <laughs> <laughs> you like our uniforms, they're equalizers. Oh, lame. Was that the debate they're having? It's one of those things as a kid that I just was not listening to. Hey, nope, not I at all. I was watching Josh. See, casual, ca casual. Oh no, not the shoes. That style is just LA now. It is. You could definitely rock that. She's gonna barf. Cover the tuba. Coach, cover the tuba. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I never heard that line. Is that like a, she just was looking out for the tuba or has this girl thrown up in <laughs> tubas <laughs> before? Probably. Sorry. Mr. Walsh's ropes are twisted. What does she Mr. say? Walsh, you will strap. <laughs> The background lines are really good. They're on point. I was always just like, forget about it. 
that random moment, I was always like, is yeah. he supposed to be in this conversation? Yeah, no, it's a, it was is weird. he dating the mom? Like, what's happening? Your grandmother called. She came all the way from Europe to have tea. God, I hate Hannah Mana, Badana, Fan, Fan, fucking Tana. Lana. I don't like them. They are so annoying. In the pantheon of annoying popular kids in movies, they take the cake. And I love Mandy Moore. Just something about I her, like, I told you, like, her I think self satisfied, just like, everything we do is so great. So it's like, wow. awesome. Like, Regina George, love her. She could be a bitch till the sun comes. Home. She's great. We the live moon, for her. The moon. Till she could be a bitch forever, and I don't care. I love Catch her. A falling star. You know who that is? That's Jason Schwartzman's brother. Get off the grass! <laughs> Get off the grass! Bye! Bye! Oh um, fuck, oh, um, oh, could you do that less creepy? Touch my my stuff. Okay, right this way. What if she was packing? Clack clack, grandmother! That's why they checked. I know, but they barely checked. <laughs> Please. Make yourself comfortable. I was. I was looking at stuff. I was very comfortable until you yelled at me. The body language on her is great. <laughs> okay, Penny. Passive aggressive. Passive aggressive. Like, like, you could have walked behind the. You were going <laughs> behind the couch. And went out of your way to jump over my bag. You've got a great place. Thank you. <laughs> got a great place. Yeah, it's a palace. So. Um, well, she, what how, the hell do you want? Yeah, Why how old is she here? supposed to be in this? Like 15, 16? Probably 15 or 16, yeah. Oh, uh, before I shoot, shoot. I have something else. <laughs> That's what we should have said. Three, two, one, shoot. shoot. It's the Genovian crest. It was mine when I was young. That's What does she do? Uh, <laughs> and that was my great grandmother's. <laughs> oh, this this gives me secondhand cringe. No. I will take good care of it. <laughs> Oh god. Taking it into the bag. Oh god. The tea is served, ma'am. Oh, the tea is served. <laughs> the tea's about to be served, honey. This is my nightmare that one day I'll somehow be thrust into a rich environment like this and I'll be like, uh, potato? What am I supposed to do? But whose fault Why is are that? there three forks and that? spoons? You work your way from the outside to the inside. Just, they'll, they'll teach you. You're not just Amelia Thermopolis. You, you are, are Amelia, Amelia Mignonette Thermopolis Renaldi, Princess, princess of, of Genovia. A princess? Shut, Shut up! up. I beg, I beg your pardon. pardon. Shut up. Shut up. Majesty, in America, it doesn't always mean be quiet. Here, it could mean wow. Wow, gee whiz, golly wally. Oh, I, I understand. Golly, wa golly wally. Golly wally. Was that was that two thousand and one <laughs> exclamatory? The, the exclam was shut up. Golly wally was two thousand even. Okay. <laughs> Why on earth would you pick me to be your princess? Uh, I didn't. <laughs> your dad's sperm picked your mom's egg. <laughs> Really and yes, we are here! It was genetics. We will accept the challenge of helping you become the princess that you are. See, they would train you. I'm ready for it. Living it's Genovia? A whoa, whoa, would you... Rewind and freeze! I don't want to be a princess! Oh. Joe! Do you remember when we came up with a well, whole prequel series went, about well, Joe and Paolo? <laughs> I have this idea that he worked at the Genovian Corps or something. Mm -hmm. Like he was one of the soldiers, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Secret service type thing. Yeah. He had to like work his way up through like the Genovian mafia, but he was honorable about it. And then he got in with the wrong crowd. And then the princess was like, she was young. This is this prequel. So she was like young and hot. And they would have like this forbidden love. Yeah, like forbidden love. Oh, yeah, but absolutely. she was like, I need someone that I can trust. And he was like, I'll defend you at all costs. And then like eight episodes later, they almost kiss, but then they decide not to. <laughs> And the entire time, Paolo's just being a fuck up. It's basically Better Call Saul, but Princess Diaries Disney Plus prequel series. I want Set it. Set it up, Disney. Just in case I'm not enough of a freak already, let's Look at Tiara! I'm sorry, I'm just kind of... <laughs> oh my god, it's not a musical. <laughs> it's like, how do you know all this? <laughs> I watched this movie a lot. Trainer, Pat Louie is not even that fat. He's not, I always thought that. He's like... Big boned Louie. <laughs> Chonky. He's, he's, he's thick Louie. <laughs> thick Louie. Thick with two C's Louie. I've never ridden in a limo. He admitted bitterly to himself as he crossed to the open window. Looming like his pathetic life before him. Oh I my God. I won an Emmy. Do you say I can't believe I won an Emmy? Yeah. If Amelia refuses to accept the throne, then Genovia will cease to exist as we know it. That's not 
how monarchies work. They will find it will the next, cease to exist. They will find the they next burn it. relative. That's it why it's go, not on the map anymore. It goes up. Coming up on your right. Nothing. Yesterday did not go well. Will you just listen? Yeah, why wouldn't y'all just sit her down together and tell her? It's not traumatic. Where is she going? The tower. She yeah. has a tower? You can't run from everything. She has a tower. It's so weird. Like, I used to think of her as old when I would watch this movie. And now I look at her and she looks really young and beautiful. And she's now I'm just older like... older than us. She's but yeah, older, but kid. like, I thought like, I was like, old! Oh, she's like a grandma. Grandma! Grandmas can be like 40 or 50 and that's like not old at all. But I want not one word of this until that evening. Is that understood? Duh. I'm telling everyone. Oh my God, I'm a princess. Hashtag Genovian royalty. <laughs> Well, I suppose I could donate something to this vehicle. I love like all the small character moments that don't need to be there, but they they're are. there and they're perfect. Yeah. Gary Marshall was always good about that. The elegant European woman <laughs> like, didn't stay for tea. Thanks. But the promise of tomorrow. But the promise of the tomorrow air. hung in the air. <laughs> like, where did this character come from? I don't know. He doesn't add. He to doesn't the add story, anything to the plot. Sure. But don't take him away from me. <laughs> you can call me Joe. Joey. <laughs> <laughs> That little moment right there is the entirety of the prequel series. Paolo will be like, oh, Joey, I call you Joey. He's like, you call me Joey. Joey that's I'll fantastic. break your fingers. What do they have to do? Do they I have to know. go like undercover at like a pageant because somebody's threatening to kill her and he has to protect her? Oh. Hi, it's and nice so to And so Joe has you. to kind of no, get him in and like he has chef. to pretend to be like his assistant. Yes. Paolo is like in charge, but like it's Joe is really in charge. I'm but watching the show right now. Yeah. We have to come up with a name for it. Oh no, Joe. <laughs> Virtual homework may not be submitted for actual credit. <laughs> tell that to 2021. Well, tell that to the pandemic. Oh, I always had a crush on her too. She was a hot teacher. Slow pitch, you can catch it on a bounce. <gasps> mm. Mm. She's so dramatic. I always hated how dramatic she was here. I'm really, I, I didn't mean to. Ice. I, I'm, can I help you? Ice. Give me ice. <laughs> For what? That barely tapped you on the back of the head. At least your dad's still alive. I thought you were getting over that. It's been what, two months? That- I know. Your I dad know, died? After all, he was my dad. Biologically, yes, but you never met the man. She never met him, okay. but still. But then, who in a sentence says, Ew. oh, it's been two months. You're not over your dad's death? Yeah, it's freaky. <laughs> He fixes cars, he plays guitar, and he can sing. He is so hot. I mean, he is wicked sweet. All right, ladies, let's. And he eats M and M's moist. The M stands for moist. So, what's the diagnosis for my baby? It's gonna cost a lot of fucking money. Four hundred dollars. That's it. Four hundred yeah, dollars. That's nothing. I always thought it was like four thousand. I'll do some labor free. I'll do some labor free. Is that what he says? He is says he something? He does. Ooh. I'll do some labor free. She's my sister's best friend. Yeah, that's the hardest yeah. place to be between friend and uh, uh, friendly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here to say things like, damn, shit, and that is whack. Amelia, what? does your bad <laughs> posture affect your hearing? All right. All right, we're not doing this. If I'm gonna save your country, you are gonna save the sass for someone else. Eyes, lovely. But hidden by Bushman hidden eyebrows. Bushman eyebrows. Rude. I like her eyebrows. If you dated one of my teachers, it would give the other kids license to mock me for the rest of my life. Oh, honey, or... they already have that. <laughs> well, you're right. Could give you license to have good grades for the rest of your life, or the rest of the school year, in that specific class. It's not really beneficial to you. Just block one, Mia, just block one. I can't do this, I'm a girl. What am I, a duck? No, I mean. <laughs> God, You're way that. tense, you know what I'm saying? So. You gotta use your hands. The ball comes over here, he's oh, just standing just like- The crash. You gotta be the ball. You gotta stop it. He's saying freaking nothing. Yeah. Bring it up. Doesn't matter, she wasn't listening anyway. You said words. Oh. I've never put on pantyhose, but it sounds dangerous. Is it customary in Genovia to imprison your dinner guests with Hermes scarves? Hermes. It's honey. Hermes. Tell me, what kind of dancing do you do? Oh, just a uh, normal kind, you know, like, um... Is that... Was that ever... Mm -hmm. I don't think that's it. We have a Genovian alternative. <laughs> that's the song of the Genovians. 
Genovian scream verses. Mm, yes. I love it. Oh, this, this is a classic. Right? Spin into me. Spin into me. People in this world are so dramatic. Mm. She bumped you. You were in the war. You were in the war. <laughs> we've decided this. We, we, we've already greenlit the series. <laughs> Just call me Joe. Call me Joe. Call me Joe. Maybe. Okay, we're getting there. Princess Diaries presents Call Me Joe. <laughs> the Joe Diaries. Joe, die, 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 die with me, Joe. <laughs> Joe, die with me. Oh. I'm ready for this episode. You've been wearing black too long. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Jesus, the sexual tension in this scene. And the series would end with him saving the guy that she's betrothed to because he knows that her duty is so important to her. It ends at, at the marriage and him just like standing guard and it's a slow zoom on his face. Aww. God damn it, I wanna watch That's this so show sad. now. Jazam. Cute Jeremiah, but a way to a girl's heart is not by treating her like a vending machine. <laughs> That's the opposite, though. Put quarters into a vending machine. I wish I could take quarters from a vending machine. Send in Paolo. Ah, Come on, Paolo. My assistant, Gretchen and Helga. And he would always have a new girl. <laughs> We won't waste time. Let the work begin. Maybe Paolo thought he could get in with the girl. Ah! Granddaughter Amelia. Hold on, I believe. Ah! She is a gorgeous. She is a gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So Paolo, he was like a street urchin, like a street con man, and he thought he could con his way into the royal family yeah, and con his way into her heart. And of course, Joe would be like, yeah, I'll help you, not realizing that Joe's gonna fall for her. And so then the tension, but Paolo, maybe Paolo's also gay. Maybe he's bi, who knows? There's so many possibilities. Disney won't green light it because they don't like gay people, but you know, Paolo! gay. Actually, you know what? Paolo's not gay, but he has to play very into the gay stereotype so that he can ingratiate himself. And then just like in, in Better Call Saul, Paolo is not his original name. No, not he's, at all. He's working his way into the upper echelon. Yeah. This is uh, the dressmaker from Bridgerton. Yes. Who pretended to be French yes. and fancy. Oh my God, I want to watch this <laughs> show. Make it happen, Disney Plus. Do you wear contact lenses? No, well, I have them, but I don't really like to wear them that much. Now, you do. Oh my God. Ooh, it's that street training coming out. I love your eyebrows. We'll call them Frida and Carlo. Eyebrows. They should be two. If Brooke Shields married the Groucho Marx, that child would have your eyebrows. Oh hey, <laughs> some of us, the Italians here, like those eyebrows. Honestly, you can have thicker eyebrows as long as you clean them up. Only Paolo. She just doesn't take good this photos at all. And this, and give you a princess. It's a lot. It's just always been like too much makeup for me. It's it's a lot. I don't know why I never- You got a I, problem with women in makeup? I love a good glam look. I just feel like this isn't, I don't know. I never felt this look. Why don't we go and have a wonderful you see? cup of tea? He's like, but don't you remember, in episode eight of season one, you and I almost kissed. <laughs> yeah, I think she shows interest in Paolo just to kind of rebel against the system oh, yeah, a little bit. Oh yeah, she doesn't actually like it. And then when he kind of goes in for a kiss, she's like, whoa. No. And he's always been salty about it, even though he's gay. <laughs> I think his sexuality will be very ambiguous. Oh yeah. Like intentionally Especially if so. it's Disney Plus oh, yeah. uh, producing but, it. But like, he'll be comedically ambiguous. Like even the writers don't know. See, this is a See, that's a much better, it's a more natural oh God, look, especially because she's like 16. What does Lily say here? What? Who destroyed you? Ouch! Oh! You, you look, look ridiculous. ridiculous! You should sue! <laughs> mean! Yeah, that's really mean. It's not a friend reaction. Seat belts, please. What I really can't understand... Maybe he was a streetcar racer, too. I don't know. <laughs> he was doing He everything. did everything! It was a prequel! You know how they, they yeah, have to sex you up in the prequel. Everything. You're morphing into one of them! Hit her. I need you to stop talking, <laughs> Lily. And who knows? Next week you Was she talking the entire time? Movie. Yeah! I'd be like, hey, do you want to get out of my limo? Was my rearview mirror fogging up? Or was someone tearing back there? I'm fine. I can kill her. Legally, they can't do anything to me. No, <laughs> that no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Oh. Joe? Eleanor Roosevelt said that. 
Yes. Come on, Joe. Give us a another hug. special lady like yourself. Joe, how heartwarming. Where's your prequel series? I want to see his whole wholesome storyline. Do you really think wearing that hat is going to keep people oh from seeing your God. new latitude? Oh. Lily, just because your hair sucks, get, get off mine. Ouch. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> It's not giving birth. <laughs> Here is your friendship charm. This girl is taking it off dramatic. And going in the dark. <laughs> the dark. Also, you're not going to take attention away from yourself with that hat. No, yeah. That, like that's 1920s flapper. At least get a bucket hat that matches. Shut up. Shut, shut up, up shut up. up. Did she tell people though? No, it's not her. There's a school rule that says nobody's allowed to wear hats in class. And I don't think anybody should be an exception to that rule, do you? Oh, Lana. No, Lana. You're the worst. Yeah, I'm sorry, but hats are against the dress code. <laughs> and you fought for the dress code. He's you did. <laughs> I like her look here, though. Her like, oh, she strained her hair. I like the one person. Yeah. That... Who's trying to fit in now? Really it's good. a wig. Ooh, Somebody right? goes, I think it's I really, think it looks there really it is. sweet, Mia. <laughs> She's so sweet. Like, that's our new friend. Come, come hang out with us. Even more gently, Hello. you sort of say, thank, thank you for being, being here today. today. Thank, Thank you, you for, for being, being here today. I'm sorry, ma'am. I must pick up the Prime Minister. Oh, oh. oh well. Thanks. Thank you for being, being here, here today. today. Does he work for other people? I don't know. Picking up the Prime Minister? Or is he coming in town for our party and you're picking him up for us? Get up! Wait for me! Not you! I don't even know you! She doesn't even go here! What's happening over there? I don't know. Uh-oh. Wait, how did they find out? That's me at the Mopolis. We're waiting for you. Right. Oh, it was Paolo. Oh. There you go. Mia. Ooh, that Your mother's mother, on her that, that's, <laughs> that's just so, adds so, oh. texture. That's texture to our prequel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The queen is coming. The queen is coming. <laughs> I love it. We need to watch more movies with Sandra Oh and Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Right, so all we keep hearing is no comment, no comment. You have, you have a comment. comment. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. Your 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 what is he wearing? Do you oh see? my god! <laughs> he has shorts and I think they were Birkenstocks or sandals or something. It was I who told the press about you, Principessa. I outed you, so to speak. I don't mean to imply that. Grazie, prego. Ah. But I didn't catch that gay joke. Paolo hates money. He spits on money. There was no money. <laughs> well, there, there was, was a little, little money after all. Like That's the, definitely gonna come back. Oh my god. Point is, <laughs> this is literally Saul Goodman and Mike Ermintrout from Better Call Saul. What is that for those of us who have never seen that? The Breaking Bad prequels. I think his cover to get close to the royal family is going to be a hairdresser, but then he's gonna find out that it's like his absolute ultimate passion and right. he's gonna get like way too into it but he's not actually good at it which is why he keeps two girls around because they actually do everything <laughs> Mia Thermopolis is the daughter is this the guy with the pants I think so I he's think like he the camera it. never shoots down <laughs> here <laughs> that's pretty amazing he plays basketball too is that in the prequel I think all of this has to go in and also he doesn't wear that outfit until like the second to last episode yeah. that's how you have to yeah. do prequels mm -hmm. you gotta earn your way like you every piece of clothing has like a whole story behind it no one just puts clothes on anymore this outfit all black with a leather jacket he worked up to that the glasses his friend died on the battlefield and he stole them from him right number three that was that really happened. Hey, that really happened. Hey, did hey, you that know that wasn't you know, scripted? That wasn't scripted. No, but did you, you know that scripted? wasn't scripted? You know, according to the DVD <laughs> yeah. and the behind the scenes features. <laughs> Why are your pokes so hard? Jeez. Would you come on my cable show on Saturday night? Yeah, sure. You can't say yes to that. You're barely a political figure and you're already gonna start making statements on TV. It's her friend's podcast. No. Is that a statement? Kind of, yeah. Anything you say is now on the record. <laughs> Can't I just tell everyone that I simply quit? You can abdicate. That is perfectly within your right. Shall we practice entering like a princess? Okay. And this is definitely like a reprise of his entering. role with Queen Clarice when she was younger and about to take power. And she's yeah. like, I don't think I can be a queen. And he but was he, like, he didn't have the knowledge. You're ready. Yeah. He was just kind of blindly encouraging and yeah. didn't really know. Like I have to be and there now that you. he's seen it, he like is like, trust me, I've Why seen this all watch before. this show more than it's I want to watch. It's so cute. <laughs> Oh God. That looks like Lit of the Days. <laughs> Lord Fricker, let me take your brandy glass. You won't need it in there. And easy on- Lord Fricker likes to touch people. No. <laughs> Lord Fricker has a whole history 
of oppressing people. Why is Lord Fricker here? Let's get him the frick out of here. Someday we will own Zenobia again and you will be queen. Gross, foreigners. <laughs> you can tell they're foreign because they're ugly and caricatured. <laughs> would you like to see? <laughs> Amazing. Oh, Why would you do that? <laughs> Why, what? What was happening with the ice bucket? It was a whole challenge oh, for multiple I, sclerosis. I it's fine. <laughs> What should we do? Well, we should take that much too. No, no don't do that's that. That's not the. <laughs> this is not how you solve things differently. <laughs> Monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder Genovia's not on the map anymore. <laughs> Have you ever experienced that instant headache when you eat ice too quickly? No. no. He's in the prequel too, but he's the exact same age. <laughs> and he's just in like every other episode, just like... <laughs> oh my god! It happens all the time. Does it? No. I would like to <laughs> propose a toast. May you always be barren. Yeah. <laughs> Was that my fault? But why was like, that guy out of there? Why did he like technically, <laughs> but also? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Sorry I let you down, Dad. I have that carousel. Wait, really? Mm hmm And then second season, he's in charge of taking care of the son as the son's starting to get a little bit older. Oh gosh. I'm and then we get to meet Mia and we realize he was there when she was born and he was the first person in charge to guard her. And then, like, he was, they were all devastated when they had to give her up. <laughs> I'm <two>. crying. <laughs> I am holding back tears at an imaginary TV show spin off prequel that somehow has touched me so. Call me Joe. It's beautiful. I love it. Wow. We got to cry. I want one of these. No, just not this one. That, Grandma, that is not how this works. They print two, you keep the whole one. Did my father always want to be a prince? Once, about 15 years ago, he seriously considered renouncing his title because he met a lovely artist who showed Season him wonderful two. things about how life could be. She charges Joe to have to hunt him down, like bring him and back. Get, yeah. But he's like, I won't stand in the way of true love. Yeah. Because Joe doesn't, but he's not all good. Like he has to have like some moral dilemma. His, well, well, his dilemma is that he wants to sleep with the queen. <laughs> Ultimately, he gives up, again, the true love for his queen, for someone else's true love. For someone else's game. Oh, man, guys. This show writes itself, really. What's Paolo doing through all this? <laughs> he's just there. Paolo wants Philippe to run away for some reason. So now he's trying to get in close with Philippe to get him to run off with the oh girl. Oh my god. But that's why, he, though? That's what he's doing, and he's not letting Joe know. They have that, like, alliance where it's like, we want the same thing, but for different reasons. Yeah. <laughs> but he hasn't like told it. Joe his reasons. Down here! 911, ah! I need to report an accident. They put me on hold. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> put down. It's stupid. Don't I have diplomatic immunity? It's just been revoked. No city, no country can function peacefully if its officers and its transportation engineers don't follow the This was a moment that happened in one of the first Why seasons. She uh, got in trouble and then Joe initiate, or Paolo, because Paolo is Paolo's the con the man. Finesser, yeah. And he was like, no, of course not. She would never mean to do this. She is the queen. And, and that, she learned that and picked up those tools from him. My God, this stuff writes itself. The parallels. Order of the uh, Rose. Genovian order of the Rose. Yep, she learned that Grifton from Paolo. <laughs> Neil. I'm Mark. <laughs> Masters That's of legit. the Order of the The other Rose. cops are like, excuse me, I'm helping too. Would you consider you and the princess best friends? We do everything together. We shop together. We get our hair done together. Oh we my God. We each other's sentences. It's very cool. Oh my God. Why do I hate her so much? She's the worst in this. No, she's the oh, fuck off, Josh. I mean, uh, no. We'll he's take the a worst. little bit of attention. It's fine. Uh, uh, uh. Really? He's so gross. He's an attractive young man. Step into my office. 
is he's gross. a teenager. He's not charming. He's just only he only has so much level of game. He's because I so transparently awful. And I hate yeah. phony publicity seekers. Saturday night's the big beach party. Oh wow! Well, I think it'd be cool if we went together. Well, we're Anne hath the will. Attention! Remember to watch Grove High School. Stop! <laughs> Stop! Anne Hathaway. <laughs> Where there's an Anne Hathaway, there's an Anne Hathaway. I can't with you. He asked me to go to the Baker Beach party with him. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's I was just going fuck right? off. How does he have such gnarly sideburns? It's like a 16 <laughs> year old. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. It's a pretty epic look. He was born in the wrong decade for sure. He was meant to be a Beatle. He, I always <laughs> thought that. I always thought I was like, that was the Beatles, right? <laughs> I'm gonna tell my kids this was the Beatles. <laughs> Some really powerful hefty gum. gum. Is this a commercial Skinny for Hubba Bubba? Right? It's like, no gum holds like our gum. <laughs> I hope you get your first real foot, foot pop and, and kiss. kiss. Right, Mom. I hate when I'm trying to be serious with my parents and they're just like making jokes. I guess I'll probably do that to my I kids. Oh, I will absolutely. I know you will. Like, I hope you have your first foot pop and kiss. Like, this shit. is why I don't talk to you, Dad. I'm glad you had fun. I did. I thought you'd get scared, honestly, because most girls I take in that boat, they freak out. I'm not like other girls. I like boats. Stupid Cupid, stop it, get on me. There's a movie surfer in this scene. Oh yeah? Which one? There he is. Uh, she was oh, a movie surfer. Fine. I just can't believe I got a chance to be an extra. Welcome to my cable show. Shut, Shut up, up and, and listen. listen. How did she get a cable show? Princess Mia to discuss her positive opinion of the Save the Sea Otter movement. See, that's all she's going to say. It's, you can Everything. say Save the Sea Otter Until the they princess. tell you, actually, there's a whole that's, industry that's paying against that. And if you speak up, they'll they'll pull out of Genovia and then we'll lose thousands of dollars. that's why you go do it before they tell you not to. Because it's better to ask forgiveness than permission. Also, what if we hate sea otters? <laughs> I don't want to go to that country. Who hates otters? Hey, princess, give us a smile. Oh, they find me here. I mean, what? you go to this school <laughs> and it's a school event. I'm just putting pretty, two and two together <laughs> here. It's pretty direct four. line. While we're waiting, this is how ridiculous. about a foot massage? What happened? Oh my God. Oh, so wonderful, thank you. Actually, I mean, you give me one. Oh, oh. <laughs> no. I'm a princess. So what do you say we go find a more romantic I know the press is crazy, but on top of the roof crazy, like... We've got your clothes. You'll be a lot warmer. Thanks. You help Stop yeah, trusting no. people. Josh is such an idiot. We're gonna make sure no one bothers you. This is bro. awful. Uh, she's like 15, right? Yeah, that is... Illegal. Well, see, this is why she's not Regina. Because Regina would have been best friends with her and would have been like a princess in law. Yes. It's not like a thing, but a princess she would have she would have gotten That's like her spin off. She would have gotten like a duchess ship or something. A picture's worth a thousand words. And you have two pictures. Two thousand wow. words, Mia Thermopolis. I really embarrassed the family, didn't I? Well, Genovia has had some yes, uh, racial did. genocide, so I think we're fine. <laughs> I would just read all of their history just so I could clap back at grandma every time she tried <gasps> to come for me. Wow. Kind of like the years of apartheid in your country. Ugh. Mm. All your guests are invited, except for your beach friends. How about we invite the uh, underpaid workers that are protesting in your country right now, grandma? Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. You don't believe they exist. Ugh. You're partying in America while they're all suffering. <laughs> Is this the way a princess should act? That's the way information you tells once. me that she's only 15. 15. But today she acted beyond her years. You know, I'm really saying as a grandmother, it. you might have been too harsh on your granddaughter. Oh, Joe, ever since season one, <laughs> episode two, we've always shared a connection. <laughs> Can you autograph your picture for me? Josh did. Oh, no, I'm not popular anymore because hey, I kissed kiss someone. Wow. Uh, they have an ice cream wait, machine at their what? school? How have I never noticed that? I'm not be a princess. Wait, what? You're not? Hold on a second. No. Changes that tune real quick, real quick, doesn't she? But I want you to be. 
Lily. All over the place, sweetie. Pick one. I just found out that my cable show only reaches 12 people. But you have a cable show. Like, that's impressive, no? Or was that something you could do, like, a podcast back then? I think if you, like, went to the cable, like, they had, like, specific networks for the area. Like, I don't know. <laughs> you went to the cable. Just the big <laughs> cable. This is hey! Hey! <laughs> hey! Here's my show! The big San Francisco cable. I just got a stick my little cable into it and I got a show. It's gotta tune the TV until you see my room. Who is this <laughs> voice that we do? I don't know. <laughs> is this just, this is us? This is the podcast? This is our voice. This is just our voice. We don't know what we're talking about. It's just gym class. Just hit the ball. I don't want to flunk you in gym class. Nobody grades gym class. If you show up on time with your clothes, you pass. Hit it anyway. Go live. What is the teacher doing there? Do you realize that Sandra was a part of the with the sneaker? Back in formation. She's probably principal and the uh, cheer sponsor. It's only a game. Join the ball. Why is he out there? Why do we have four teachers in this school? You know what? You're right. <laughs> Order me a pizza, huh? Pepperoni. Oh! oh Order me a pizza, huh? That Pepperoni. <laughs> Safe, and you pass. Yeah. With a 70. <laughs> Do better next year. Thank you so much for doing this for me. It's really, really great of you. I'm going to try to make it up to you. We mocked this all the time. Why? How? Uh, well. <laughs> Anytime we find a mask or anything with two <laughs> aisles, we'd go, How? <laughs> I really want you to be the one I share it with. But like just for this you movie, <laughs> I don't and ever want to see you again. To the pine. Brandon, ask me what kind of tree I have. No. Brandon, ask me what kind of tree I have. No. Just Brandon, ask me what kind of tree. It's a crisp pine. I just consider myself royally flushed. He was sitting on that one. <laughs> he was he, like, he, wait, he was he's like, I'm gonna get to use this at some point. My portfolio has increased by 30% since the last quarter. <laughs> oh, he's gonna be rich. Let's get him in the next movie. Oh, Maya and Mia. <laughs> oh, but um, listen. Oh, I hate them so much. You're really playing this wrong, Lana. The sweater you're wearing, was it designed for you or did the knitting machine just blow up? It's kind of funny. <laughs> of course it does. There you go. All right, now, but do it slower, and then take the hat off, then you push her down, and then, and then, and then spit on her. <laughs> you will never stop being a jerk. Lana got coned. Lana got coned. I love how Lana kids got... in TV shows and movies are just always oh, immediately like, ready to. Lana got like, coned. Who are we? Yeah, who, we, uh, said. who are we saying this to? Her? No, <laughs> honey, I'm what sorry. I was in a very important meeting. With the it's only other exactly. teachers in the school. The literal same teachers. Is there anyone else here? This oh. is why the school kind of runs rampant. It's a present for your 16th birthday from your father. Joe bought that for his father. My, my birthday's not for two weeks. I know. It's locked. If you open the locket I gave you, it becomes the key. You dumb idiot. I think you'd make a very fine princess. Yeah, you know, you're just trying to get me to take the job. You don't believe that. You're desperate. It's a real job. There's money and parties and clothes and diamonds, and it's just, it's really difficult, Mia. And we don't allow the gays. <laughs> <laughs> I write soaps, soap opera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why he got an Emmy. I wrote a character just like you once. He was a spy. I'm not yeah, a, spy. a spy. That's what the character said. That's what the character said. <laughs> he was a spy. He was a he spy. Was a spy. You know, more or less. <laughs> he he did shady things. Oh yeah. He grew up on the wrong side of the tracks. <laughs> I am sorry. It's fine. You're oh, just my destroying my country and my livelihood. You are all gonna first die. <laughs> and foremost, my granddaughter. But I will never speak to you again. Ever. After this. Hit me up on LinkedIn. I'll ignore it. <laughs> Cause she had never talked to her before this, right? Nope. And that that'll be something they'll they'll discuss in the in the prequel. Yeah, she's not the greatest of characters, no. you know? She's a little She has her little bit of her entitlements. She tends to be a little bit judgmental and pretentious. Very. That's why maybe her and Joe never worked out because yeah. she wasn't willing to fall in love with someone who was beneath her. Yeah. He broke down her walls, but it was a little bit too late when she realized that's a little something. too late. Yeah. She comes back for him and he's like, no. <laughs> you have a duty and I know that's important to you. <laughs> I must say goodbye. But we gotta get one kiss. They gotta well, kiss, kiss. One, one good kiss. Courage is not the absence of fear, but rather the judgment that something else is more important than fear. <laughs> Look at all those chickens. I loved your mother very much. 
and still think of her often. But Joe told me I had a duty. <laughs> Find out more in season three of Call Me of uh, Princess Diaries presents Call Me Joe. Disney Plus presents Princess Di from the Book of Princess Di the Diary of the Princess Book One. Call me Joe. Oh my god. Season three. Oh my gosh. It never comes down on Willie Brown. <laughs> the fuck is Willie Brown? That's a great question. I always assumed he was just one of those like people that everybody knew, but I wasn't <laughs> old enough to know. Willie, you dumb idiot, it's raining right now. <laughs> but it didn't come down on him. He's a recurring character too. <laughs> we get a call, we deliver. That's our motto. <laughs> it, we get a call, we deliver. I never read the, the box. No, no, I just deliver them. Uh, and they even sorted the colors, too. Is it true if the teenager refuses the princess ship, your family will take over the country of Genovia? Yes, they must have a legitimate Rinaldi blood relative see, or we rule. It's not the end of the country, it's just a different ruler. Did you see how scary they are? That woman has masculine features. <laughs> we can't trust them to run a country, so says Disney. You wouldn't happen to be running away, would you? Just like this? No, I'm going to a ball. Good. Oh, Joe. Joe is like the father. Three generations he's been there. Joe doesn't care. Joe's, he's a man of the people. <laughs> Maybe that's what they fought over. There was like a union strike or something with like the people and she stood on one side and he was like, I will always stand with the people of Genovia. Oh, yeah. And she was like, no, but they, they, they challenge our families. He's like, they give your family the power. I've chosen my side. Now you must choose yours. And then of course, she eventually would come Realize around by that. Point. But she would go marry the guy. Yeah, exactly. For the duty. But that's why he's working with her and now. Realize, like, I'm sorry, I messed up. Oh, but he also saved his life too. Yep. And is wearing a sweatshirt, jeans, and docks. It's called soppy couture. I like it. That's like uh, what grunge couture is popular in the '90s. Hello, I'm Mia. What if she like started um, doing a British accent? It's Doctor. <laughs> Hello. I would absolutely. That would be part of my princess training. Hi, hello, 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 it is me, Genovia. How about you do a good British accent, Mia? I'm sorry, I do this when I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm not so afraid anymore. You hear that? My I'm not afraid anymore. <laughs> See, if I were princess of Genovia, then I would like thoughts... do a lot of cool things. You know, it'd be great. She gets there and it's literally like 300 people and like 200 acres square. Like, oh, this is Genovia? This is a patch of grass. No wonder I never heard of it. <laughs> so this morning when I woke up, I was Mia Thermopolis. And now? But now I choose to be forevermore. Mm. Amelia Mionet yeah. Thermopolis Ronaldi. Ronaldi. Come on. Princess, Princess of, of Genovia. Genovia. <laughs> We're playing the song like... of the Genovian people. And then you clang two pairs together. The Genovians are so talented. <laughs> How did you know I'd even be here? Because I recognize the same spirit in you as someone else I know. It was her. It was her, and it was season one of the Princess Di No, Disney Plus presents the Book of Princess Diaries. Um, Disney Plus presents a Princess Diary story. Call me Joe. That's not the Genovian song. Here it comes. No! It's translated. That's the English That's, translated. Yeah, there it is. They had the same idea I had, but now the garden is ocupado. <laughs> Joe's a horny little fuck. <laughs> Joe's a hopeless romantic. So Look at him. He pushed his hair back. He looks so sexy with his hair pushed back. <laughs> Will you pop stars please tell him he looks sexy with his hair pushed back? Why me? Because you saw me when I was invisible. Oh. <laughs> I was <laughs> trying to think. <laughs> Come on. This will be. What's gonna happen? An everlasting love. No. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> oh. What happened? Oh. <laughs> you, have to, you have to crouch down a little bit. Miracles <laughs> 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 ah, slapped the shit out of me. That's all I ever remember from this damn song. <laughs> Alright, Joe, come on, do it. We've been waiting for that payoff since season season one. one. They're even having my Mustang brought over, which I can leave. Why? It doesn't work. There you go. Grandma's so glad to be going yeah. home. You're welcome to Genovia. That's all of Genovia. That's it. <laughs> it's just this field in the castle. I mean, it's a great movie. Like, we knew what that. What can we say? You knew that. that I is... knew that. 
I didn't. Lord knows I want that prequel series. If you have better titles, the main character is Joe, side characters are Paolo and the Queen, and then whoever else we can squeeze in. Whoever else we can pull from the first and second. This one, great balance, loved it, still a classic. And if you like our reactions, like, follow, subscribe. Hit, Hit that bell, bell for, for notifications. notifications. And uh, check out our Patreon. Where we have those full reactions. And stay tuned because Bridgerton season two. It's coming up next on Pink Popcast channel. And stay tuned for our official announcement with the involvement of Disney Plus Presents. <laughs> The Princess, Princess Diaries, Diaries story, story Call Me Joe. The diary before the book, before the diary, Call Me Joe. Disney Plus presents Before the Diary, Call Me Joe. It's still the Princess Diaries because she's a princess. It's when the queen is a princess. So it's oh. from, she's telling Joe's story. Oh. Before the Diaries. Yeah. Mandy Moore. J Jackie, Jackie O. What? No. I still her. don't know. Principal. Oh, Sandra O. Oh. Sandra O. Oh. Who's Jackie O? Oh? That's oh, that's JFK's wife. Yeah. F Three, two, one. Um. Titties. <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> <laughs> Until next week, I'm Rizzo. I'm Benjamin Gregory Jones, Princess S of Genovia. Sweet dreams, pop star. Keep watching. Oh, I it. think this one needs to end with. <laughs> Be free, can't I don't need wings to help me laugh. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>